Lord, we are gathered here today to remember the prolific life of luxury pranks, to celebrate their steadfast commitment to misleading their very young audience by fabricating very serious and unsafe situations involving child predation, and to mourn the loss of this thriving YouTube channel whose life was cut too short when YouTube Thanos snapped their revenue out of existence. When they caught on to the manipulation of young sensibilities that was taking place. No, you will not be forgotten luxury pranks, but as God is my witness, I do declare that you will most certainly not be missed. Amen. Mm. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to a brand new jewelry box filled with Cobb salad. My name is Leon Lush, and I am rife with gratitude that you decided to spend a few minutes here with me today. Some of you may recall that Luxury Pranks and I have a bit of a history together, and you may recall their previous business model, which consisted of them serving up fabricated child predator social experiments to their very young audience, where they would run a sting-like operation and catch the alleged predators in the act, effectively cleaning up the streets and becoming heroes while raising awareness or something. You maybe could have called it entertaining to the self-aware if you're being generous, but it's not the best look when you're passing it off as real so you can farm clicks and views from kids who just don't know any better. Effectively exploiting what is in actuality this very real and sensitive subject matter. Unsurprisingly, several YouTubers made videos about these guys, and after my video went live, things got a little weird uh, which I won't get into here because I covered all in this video from a year ago. And then shortly after that, I got Parker, who's one of the channel leads, to agree to an interview to see if I could get just an iota of truth out of him. And it just ended up turning into this weird dog and pony show of him dodging all the questions and gaslighting me when he didn't have a logical response, but it was kind of interesting. All the child predators in your videos are legit child predators. It depends. I mean, do it. I mean, what... What do you classify as a what do you classify as a child predator? Uh, I don't know. Parker, you're the expert here, man. So here we are a year later, and I go to find out what they're up to and come to find out luxury pranks is RIP. Rest in pepperoni. But fear not, because Chester and Parker are not only alive and well, but they made some lateral transitions and are now thriving in their new vertical. So we're gonna take a look at what happened to luxury pranks and more importantly, what they're up to today after this quick word about today's video sponsor, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is an industry-leading virtual private network. It's super simple to use, hella fast. It protects you and your data and allows you to stream and download content without restrictions wherever you are. I've personally been using their service for close to a year now for several reasons. I do a lot of work in cafes, places where there's public Wi-Fi, where your data is essentially free for the taking to any hackers with just a little bit of know-how. Bank passwords, social media logins, you name it. You might as well just scribble them on your forehead if you're doing any actual sensitive work on a public network. But ExpressVPN, you see they protect you from all that by encrypting your data. Additionally, it lifts any geo restrictions when you're browsing or streaming content. Can't watch your favorite show in the country you live in, no problem. Just log into a remote server, watch whatever the hell you want. Whether you're on your laptop, your iPhone, your Android, it doesn't matter, ExpressVPN has an app for whatever device you're using so you can keep making banger TikToks no matter where you are. So take back your privacy and your internet freedom today and find out how you can get three months free by using my link in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash Leon Lush. Thank you so much to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like myself. You love to see it. So looking at the Luxury Pranks YouTube channel, you see 2.18 million subs, but they haven't uploaded in over seven months. But I remember just around the time about a year ago when they were getting a lot of flack for these fake social experiments, they started a second channel called Life of Luxury that was gonna it was supposed to be more like a vlog channel and they weren't really sure at the time, but going through their video list there, you scroll back and you see this video called YouTube wants us off their site, luxury pranks. I think maybe a more appropriate title would have been everyone above the age of 12 wants us off the site, but this will have to do. Let's take a look. Welcome. I'm sure that if any of you know what's going on, there are a lot of questions on your mind and I assure you there are more questions on my mind right now. If you don't know what's going on, we've basically been Totally shut off of ads on YouTube on luxury pranks. Oh no, really? So, as you can see, every single video we've ever uploaded has either been removed <laughs> or just completely demonetized. So I'll go to the next page here. Copyright strike, copyright strike, remove, 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 remove. Demonetize, 
remove, demonetize, remove, demonetize, remove, every single thing. So basically, right now, to the best of my knowledge, YouTube is trying to totally kill our channel, Luxury Pranks. So welcome to Life of Luxury. So it sounds like YouTube caught on to what they were doing and just demolished their channel by demonetizing everything across the board, no matter what they uploaded, rendering the channel fiscally unviable. We tried emailing YouTube, they provided no explanation. The guy that I talked to just kept sending me links to articles that I could read about community guidelines. Okay, that part is relatable. YouTube is laughable when it comes to communication, even when you're talking about destroying somebody's livelihood. This channel needs to pick up. Life of Luxury needs to pick up. If you want us to even be a possibility on this site, if not, know that we're not giving up. Because if I fall seven times, I stand up eight. <laughs> and YouTube. If this is your way of letting us know that you don't want us making content on your site anymore. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty clear. <laughs> you're doing a horrible job. Seems like they did a pretty good job, which is why Luxury Pranks is now dead. So what were Chester and Parker gonna do? Just lie down in the fetal position and cry themselves to sleep? Watch everything they had worked so hard for slip away because of YouTube's iron fist? Hell no! Just like Parker says. I stand up eight. Hell yeah! And if YouTube kills one of your channels of fake bullshit, you just start up another channel of fake bullshit, which is exactly what they did. And they're crushing it. <laughs> and that's where Life of Luxury comes in, a channel they use to dip their toes in some vlogs, some Q&As, and some bathtubs full of olive oil. But once Luxury Pranks was canceled, well, they tried bringing the Predator social experiments over here, and I imagine ran into more demonetization. So then they took a risk on something new. And they found their new golden goose. Spooky paranormal videos with black thumbnails and a lot of red arrows. Absolutely genius. Sleeping. Crawling. Dad. Sleeping. Watching. Sleeping. How the hell do you not click on that? Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Anyways, I'm excited to take one of these for a spin. What could he be doing in the basement that he needs to hide from his daughter? Hi. Hi. Kelly. Hi. It's me. What's your dad's job? Why is he working in the basement? He said he was a surgeon, but I've never seen him work in the hospital, only in the basement. Last night, I got these marks. White marks? Is there a white mark? <laughs> basement dwelling surgeon dads and bite marks? Go on. We received a report from a 19 year old girl named Kayla. Kayla lives with her dad and she says that he works in the basement of their house. She also says weird things have been happening in her house at night, like screaming and scratching noises coming from the basement. <laughs> I'm already loving this because it's literally the exact same formula as everything on their luxury pranks channel, except they just replaced the sexual predator stuff with weird paranormal stuff and it's working like a charm. She sent us this video for <laughs> I mean, if that's not proof that Kayla's dad is a nighttime basement dwelling ghost zombie surgeon, I don't know what else you need to see. That's pretty obvious. To her? Hi. Hi. Kayla, Kayla. nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, can we come in and talk? Okay, Kayla, thank you for letting us sit down with you. Sure. Okay, so can you explain to us more what's been going on? I think there's something moving down there. I saw something in my closet a couple nights ago, and I suddenly started feeling dizzy, and I swear I saw something crawling out of there. What the hell? What the hell? Anyways, they build the hype for like the next okay. four or five Bro, minutes. It can't be, dude. Bro, there's a pass code. What the hell? They set up some cameras around the house. Classic luxury pranks. Chester comes through with some epic foreshadowing. He's feeling really off about this place. Good God, man. Are you all right? Look at the heartbeat sound effect in the background. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, that's creepy, I guess. Yo, wake up. Uh, oh. One of the cameras is on the ground. Probably just fell. But how would it get on the ground? Check the other ones. What is that thing? Dude, what is he doing? What's coming out of her mouth? We gotta go in, bro. Let's go. Let's go inside, okay? Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, is he sucking her soul out of her body right now? Do they have VFX on this? Hold on a second. What is he doing? What's coming out of her mouth? Okay, this is making The Shining look like a kid's movie. I don't think I can continue. I don't. I really, I don't think, uh, you know what, okay, let's go. Yeah, let's do it, that thing? What's 
She doesn't have a soul. He took her soul. Be careful. Let's go. What's wrong? We gotta get out of here. What the hell was that thing? Let's go. Do try. Try. Do you feel okay? Are you feeling okay? <coughs> Well, that was nice of them. Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. If no this problem. video hits 100,000 likes, we'll release the next oh, great episode. great news, it hit 150. The video's over now, so you don't need to keep watching. Oh, tell me twice. <laughs> I mean, my knee-jerk reaction here is just, wow. Okay, Parker and Chester are pulling out all the stops. It's exactly the same as luxury pranks, just repackaged into the paranormal thing, but... You know what I'm saying? As long as you're not exploiting the child predator bit like you were doing before, I'm cool with it, man. Everyone on YouTube makes fake scary videos. And they crush! Clearly! Roses are red, violets are blue. You are now in danger. Like to undo. 7.7K. Likes, okay. Roses are red, my shirt is too. This man is crawling. Like to undo. Okay. Roses are red, violets are blue. The monsters... Oh my god. Ugh. Roses are red, violets are due. He's gonna come kill you. Like to undo. For the love of God! <sighs> you know you've hit your target audience of preteens when all of your top comments are like bags. So it looks like they found so much success with these new spooky paranormal videos that they started a third channel, which looks like an offshoot on the same style of thing called Luxury Dark. Let's, uh, take a peek. We bought a clown off the dark web. We bought a haunted doll from the dark web. We found a girlfriend on the dark web. <laughs> God almighty. Oh, uh, I hate it so much, but it's it's genius, I guess. I, I don't know. They're crushing it. We bought a best friend off the dark web. Let's, let's see what he's like. <laughs> Already off to a great start. This episode, Chester found this website on the dark web where you can buy friends online. Okay, right away we know this video is fake, because if that were actually true, if you could really buy friends on the internet, then people that watch anime would have a way to get friends, and we know that's impossible. This is probably one of the weirdest things that I've ever heard, but Chester's convinced that if we buy a friend on the dark web, he'll be our friend for life. It just seems like there's really cool people on there. So we're gonna sit down and check this site out. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this looks like it's the website selling them. My first impression is that this looks extremely strange. Yeah, some of them do look a little bit weird. Happy friend, full of love, price $1,900, but wait, he's on sale for $1,800. What a steal. Is this something that people should be doing though? Buying their friends? Come on, these are probably better than your average friend. I don't think they're better at all. I think people on here are gonna be really weird. And if we order one of these guys, I think we're gonna have a lot of trouble with them. Okay, full disclosure, I can't even hate these guys right now. This is this is incredible content right here. All right, it says here that he'll be your friend for life. He'll become very attached to you and he'll want to become one with you. Dude, this sounds like a pretty good friend. <laughs> Instructions and rules. Let inside house. Don't leave him alone. Simple as that. Okay, so if we buy this guy and he comes over, what are we gonna do with him? Recreate Lemon Party, obviously. What else would you do? <laughs> Hang out with him. So when is he gonna leave? Is he just, is he gonna stay with us? Is he gonna come for a day? Is he gonna- Jesus, Parker, with the questions, just add the guy to your cart and buy your damn friend! Okay, so we just bought this guy. We put our phone numbers and address in there. We're supposed to receive text alerts as to when he's going to arrive. <laughs> Is that him? Oh, hey. Hi, I'm Jimmy. Hey, you're the friend? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did you just hear? Are you the friend? You're the friend? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, you can come inside if you want. <laughs> Hi, I'm Parker. Nice to meet you. We're friends. Can we hug? Uh, I'm alright. Sorry, I'm just not really comfortable with that. So what do you guys want to do tonight? Uh, actually, you know, it's pretty late. We're actually, uh, about to go to sleep. What? So, you want to just go to sleep? Or? <laughs> Dude, I have no idea what's going on here, but these boys have graduated from exploiting a very sensitive topic to god-tier comedy. This is... I mean, no cat. I'm not even. This isn't even sarcastic. This is some hilarious sh. Yeah, we can go to sleep. Who am I sleeping with? Uh, actually, we have uh, your own bed for you. That that's no fun. All right, let's be real. Him and Chester are definitely gonna smash. <laughs> we try to sleep and leave Jimmy downstairs. This eerie music is captivating me. Oh, here he goes. 
Oh, Jimmy is on the prowl right now. He is on the loose. He's about to stir some. Jimmy, it's one thing to knock on a boy's door early in the morning, but you don't drink a play his orange juice. Did he just spit it? Oh, he spit it back into the jug. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Did you hear that? Dude. Did he seriously just break something? I heard a crash down there. We gotta get out of this house, bro. He's been making noise all night. What's he doing down there? God, dude, I swear if he broke something expensive. I mean, listen, how can you not feel bad for Chester and Parker? What is worse than spending $1,800 on a friend from the dark web and having him just turn out to be a weirdo? God, you hate when it doesn't work out. Jimmy, why are you under our piano? Jimmy, listen, man. Ever since you got here, you've been causing nothing but trouble. I think it's time for you to leave. I'm sorry. Jimmy. I, I'm, a, I'm a bad friend. Oh, Jimmy, come on, dude. You're not, you're nice. You're good, you're a nice kid. You're a... Let's go, we're gonna get some ice cream. Okay, come on, let's go. Are they pranking him right now? Wow, cold, bro. Yeah, I'd be doing the same thing if you lied to me about getting ice cream, dude. Dickhead. Let's go see. Yeah, now it's time to go to sleep. Good morning, guys. It's the next day, and I was reviewing the footage from last night. I think this Jimmy dude was doing some stuff that I need to show Chester. So he's going under the fridge. Oh, dude, I drank out of that orange juice this morning. Yeah, dude. This guy oh, is, uh... this is so disgusting. Ha, <laughs> get owned by Billy's backwash, bitch. Idiot. Thank you so much for watching this video guys I'm kind of upset with the way things turned out, but it turns out that this guy was as creepy as I expected oh, Okay, that's uh, that's gonna do it three million three million views. Jimmy is your best friend read more Like to undo son of a bitch. Jimmy is sleeping in your house. No, I'm not gonna fall for that one Like and Doggo will guard your room tonight. You know, I quit dude. I can't you can't even read the comments of trash Trash content like this because it's all nine-year-olds that that beg for likes the whole comments nothing funny or interesting Just just absolute <laughs> Garbage so for all you guys that have commented to check out luxury pranks new stuff these last several months since they've moved on to this new form of content Here we are and uh, I, I, don't know, I guess it's a step in the right direction. I guess I, you know what I mean? It's still it's absurd to the point of satire uh, But at least it's a little bit less exploitative and more just stupid paranormal bullshit but clearly there is a massive audience for this kind of content so if you want to start a youtube channel here's your roadmap <laughs> thank you guys for watching i do appreciate your time if you're new and you decided to subscribe that would mean the world for those of you asking about the new merch these hats also i have hoodies and shirts that store is going live on december 1st two weeks from sunday tomatomafia.com we're going to be doing a drop over there looking forward to it uh really happy with the way this turned out so please enjoy the rest of your weekend irresponsibly put on a pair of spanks and cut a little slit right in the general area and hip thrust that motherfucking like button for me and we'll see you in the next video peace yeah. Thanks. Yeah. 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 Yeah.